Boat repair part 11. Painting. Finishing putting this other piece on the top. I hope you get some of it painted anyway. Got it back out here at the shop. Got my mom to move her truck where I can back it in here. Gonna keep from overspraying everything. I've got to do some. This piece has already got a, a piece I could weld to, and this one's broke. I need to get it out of there. And this piece goes across the front, welds, bolts, such and such. First order business is going to be to clean, prime this piece up. And uh, while I'm waiting on the primer to dry, I'm going to try to mix me up a little paint and spray the inside of this. I got to come up with some way of covering that yellow. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it. There we go. I've got this part here primed, I'm letting it dry. Uh, fix me some brackets. Well, didn't really call them brackets, but they, since they had existing brackets already welded on here, what I did is I just cut me some pieces of metal where I can pull it up tight and tack it. Cut one there and one there. And one over there. And now, do the same thing with these two in the front when I get ready to put it in. Now I'm going to go get my welder and tack these three pieces in. Alrighty, so we're going to start welding this first piece right here. Yeah, I hope my ground's good enough. I may end up having to grind me off another spot. Let's see, I've got a low in one and a low two. That'd probably be good enough. We we'll try it. Don't pick it up. That's a big blob of crap. It appears to hold. A big blob of crap, but it looks like it's gonna work. I hate this damn welder. I'm gonna get me a different one one of these days. All right, over here. I'm gonna get this one over here. I don't know if I got a good spot to see. Pick this one up.
working better. Alrighty, guys. We'll get this other piece. Ready? It appears to be pretty strong. Of course, you know how bowlers are. They rattle and vibrate. It'll probably break them loose in the first couple of rounds. Looks good for now. Let me get this other one going. Uh, get it ready to paint, and I'll bring that here. Well, we're going to paint one side of it in there anyway, so stay tuned. Well, I'm getting ready to paint. I went by the, uh, our automotive paint store yesterday. We got a gallon of medium enamel reducer. They didn't have quartz, unfortunately. Got me some uh, mixing cups and, and uh, strainers and all that good stuff to go with this New Holland paint. And I've got these two guns. This is a HVLP uh, and this is just a general purpose. And then I got this gun right here. I ain't never took out of the box. It's got the gravity feed on it. And I think this is the one I'm going to try to work with. I'm, I've used that one with not much success. I probably have my air turned way up. But it's got a water filter on them. We'll have to take that off and use on this one. So, get that get that one off and get this one hooked up, ready to go and mix up some paint. Well, I got my spray sprayer made up. This is the drag feed. Fill the top. Come down. You got a water separator. And down a little further, you got an air regulator. This one costs for 40 pounds of air, 50 pound max. So I got it set for 40. It's kind of cumbersome to have to hold this big old setup, but I guess that's. Well, actually, I could probably take that regulator off and put it in line. But my hose is going to be so long that I'm afraid <coughs> that it'll, you know, be pretty weak on the other end of it, so. Well, I'm about running out of time today. It's 8 o'clock. Sun's kept going down, and I know there ain't no need to get started painting because I need a couple hours worth of paint. And uh, i got to do some more masking, covering up some areas that I don't want red all over. But it's going to take a little bit. I'm going to hit this, what I welded with a little bit of primer, let it dry tonight. And uh, it'll be ready to paint as soon as I get right back to it. So stay tuned for part 12, painting this damn inside of this thing anyway. Getting ready to put the outer sheet metal on.